Well, just another quick video update. I have FSX queued up, and uh, some things have changed. My uh, displays, sorry for the look of them, I still have to work with the Jet 45 and get to get them to fit. But, they do the job now that I have functional EFIS panels. I'll give a rotate to my secondary nav, and now I can have both. All the buttons are fully functional. Um, sorry for you. The, uh, focus on this, it's pretty crappy, but got HSI. Uh, I can switch for my altitude, and as of today, I now have this one working as well. There's my secondaries, my nav sources, switch to FMS, everything's working. Pretty excited about that. Uh, reversion panels are functional. Pretty much everything's a go. What I did do was put Jet 45 all on this uh, Xeon processor computer and did away with the third over there. I just haven't removed it yet. Which I would recommend anybody do because that made setting up the config files, the INI files in Jet 45 so much easier. Which allowed me to now do this. Now I'll have reversion functional. The only thing um, I'm finding is, well, in this case, it worked right away. It doesn't, you have to give it some time in between before you do the reversion again. Otherwise, it seems to bung up. But uh, who really switches that off, in, in all honesty? So, works like a champ so far. Um, I'll give a, a quick look at how I did it. I kind of found a cheating method. Um, for the reversion panels I used Cat5 and uh, they're direct connected which goes to the FDS board and I can unplug it there. What I did for the uh, EFIS panels, Vince's EFIS panels come with this uh, 10 conductor ribbon. I just clamped on the female end and then took the FDS pigtail and soldered each one to uh, to the male end, in which case I could do it all on the workbench. It's super easy to make the pigtails. Uh, I wasted a couple inputs for now because I just soldered them all. So each panel goes to one pigtail on the on the FDS board. Um, yeah, it wastes an input or two, but uh, that can be dealt with later. And then they just come through the hole in the side and plug right in. What I'll do is I'll label them so that this will be uh, pretty easy to unplug if I had to, but these will be fastened kind of a lot better than this so that the glare shield can come off and that'll be my disconnect point. Uh, works like a champ. It just needs some tidying up. I can make the pigtails in 10 minutes a piece-ish. Um, depends on how the soldering goes. And then I encase them in this uh, in the clear, non-conductive glue. Uh, works great so far. It was uh, super easy. Uh, I had to rework one of the EFIS panels slightly, but uh, other than that, all things are coming together well. It's uh, super nice to have everything functional. I can reset the master caution, and uh, yeah, all is. Uh, all is well. So far, so good. Once I uh, work through a few more small issues, should be ready for a flight. Thanks for watching.